On April 4, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee while helping the city sanitation workers in their strike for safer working conditions and better pay. Fifty years later, the world remembers Dr. King for his leadership in the civil rights movement, in the anti-war movement, in the labor movement, and for his work in building the Poor People's Campaign, all while promoting nonviolence as a means of achieving justice in all his endeavors. On April 4, 2018, rallies were held throughout America and throughout the world to remember not only the legacy of Dr. King, but the unfinished work of his dream that needs to be carried on by the people of this generation and those to come. This video report is about the rally that took place at the fountain below the old courthouse on Main Street in Silver, a small rural community in western North Carolina where a Confederate monument still stands on the stairs leading up to the courthouse. Yes, there is still much work to be done to achieve justice in America, but the children know it, and they are here to help make it happen. Good morning, everybody, and you say... Good morning, everybody! Welcome! Welcome! My name is... My name is... Enrique Gomez. Enrique Gomez! I am president... I am president... Of the Jackson County... Of the Jackson County... NAACP! NAACP! And I thank you for coming! And I thank you for coming! In my time, in my time, I have found, I have found that there are times, that there are times that grown-ups, that grown-ups need to be silent, need to be silent, and listen to the voices, and listen to the voices of kids, of kids. Today, today is one such time, is one such time. So this is what we're going to do. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take. Uh, we're going to take turns for people to come up here and share a quote and share a quote from Martin Luther King from Martin Luther King on the 50th anniversary on the 50th anniversary of his assassination of his assassination and with this and with this I want to thank I want to thank the Jackson County and the YCP. The Jackson County and the YCP. Jackson County Indivisible Common Ground. Jackson County Indivisible Common Ground. And Mountain Discovery. Mountain Discovery. Thank you for joining us today. And all the viewers who are joining us today. Okay, uh, Miss. Okay, Miss Ray. We have students. We do. So, uh, who would like to share the quotes? Okay, one at a time can come up here and share their quotes. Say it out loud and everybody needs to answer that quote. Time is always right to do what time is always right to do what is right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
Injustice, injustice anywhere. Injustice anywhere. Is a threat to justice everywhere. Is a threat to justice everywhere. D A C A yes. D A C A yes. Wall no. Wall no. <laughs> Dreams not schemes. Dreams not schemes. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? Seeing is not always believing. Seeing is not always believing. Yeah. <laughs> Let no man, Let Let no man, man pull, you low enough pull you low enough to hate. To to hate. hate. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go I have decided. I have decided to stick with love. To stick, stick with love. Hate, hate is too great. Hate is too great. Avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Bring your quote. Bring your. Any grown-ups too? Grown-ups, we're opening the floor for grown-ups. All right, grown-ups. Yes. We need leaders. We need leaders. Not in love with money. Not in love with money. But in love with justice. But in love with justice. Not in love with publicity. Not in love with publicity. But in love with humanity. But in love with humanity. Yeah. Martin Luther King is that one day 
I will not, my children will not live in a nation where they are judged upon by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? All right. We're good. Yes, do. No justice. No justice. No in, no equality. No equality. Until we end. Until we end. Racism. Racism. Militarism. Militarism. Materialism. Materialism. Yeah. You don't have to repeat this, but obviously Dr. King was uh, was a disciple of Jesus, also of Gandhi. So please look into Jesus, look into Gandhi. Uh, love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor. <laughs> All right, to finish up. Okay, let's do it again. So for repeating. Okay. In Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C. In the National Mall. In the National Mall. There is a monument. There is a monument. To the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. To the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. And raise your hands if you've ever seen it. And raise your hands if you've ever seen it. Thank you. <laughs> Those of you who have seen it. Those of you who have seen it. Respond yes or no. Respond yes or no. Is the monument finished? Is the monument finished? No. no. Why? Why? The work isn't finished. We have work to do. Because the work is not, the work. Is not finished. Fifty years later. Fifty years later. His work is not done. His work is not done. And to honor his memory. And to honor his memory. We must take on the work. We must take on the work of justice. Of justice. Equality. Equality. Anti-poverty. Anti-poverty. Anti-racism. Anti-racism. And anti-violence. And anti-violence. Thank you so much. And Give yourself a hand. Thank you. Thank you. We've seen a lot of injustice upon us and inequality, racial injustice, and we want to help prove to the world that there is racial inequality going on through different races throughout the world, and we want them to know and see that we can make a difference if we all work together. And, um, it's it's the anniversary of MLK. He died on this day, and we want to rally to remember him. And, um, so today is uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s 50th anniversary, the day that he was assassinated. Um, overall, just he's an extremely inspirational person, and he's made our country a whole lot better. Yeah. The young people out here, oh, that's the most terrific thing. And like I told them, it's their world. I'm on my way out. <laughs> Everybody else. I know they're going to have to get up and fight for what they want. He was uh, my hero, you know, growing up as, uh, you know, as a kid uh, in Kenya. Uh, so coming here as a student uh, is just like um, another dream come true. Yeah. I, was, I was teaching at Norfolk State when Martin Luther was assassinated, and um, I went in to give a test that morning, and the, um, the students were all there, ready to go, and as they sat down to take their test, um, the director of freshman English came in, her name was Mozella, I can't remember the last name, and she said, this is not a day for black people to be taken test. This is a day for black people to mourn. Now we're going to go down to the football stadium. You guys coming? So we all got up and went. And it was a kind of um, fruitless effort down there because nobody really had anything to say. Finally we sang, We Shall Overcome. 
And then somebody said, we must go down to the courthouse and demand that the flag be put at half staff. Well, I'm here today to honor Dr. Martin Luther King. I was 14 when he was killed, and I still remember that day. I'm so grateful that the Jackson County NAACP and um, Indivisible have gotten together to sponsor this today and for a way to commemorate one of the greatest citizens of the United States, the great leader in our history, and I'm hoping that the sentiments in my poster will be taken to heart now because they seem more relevant now than they were even 50 years ago. Let me see you I told you yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 17 when I was participating in my first march yeah. from our high school. We're here today on the 50th anniversary of the passing of Dr. King, which was a huge loss, not only to this nation, but to the world. And his work is far from finished. We see that as evidenced everywhere, across this country especially, that, that too many people who consider themselves to be Christians are, are not following even just the most basic love thy neighbor. And it starts there, and everything goes from there. And we need to get back to that message, and we need to treat people not just how we think uh, we want to be treated, but how other people themselves want to be treated, which is a little bit more difficult, uh, but ultimately it's what we need to get to, is to be aware of other people's uh, feelings, opinions, rights, uh, and really live out of love. That That is our only hope. For if we don't live together in peace, we sure, surely shall die together as fools. Thank you. I was in Vietnam when, when Martin Luther was assassinated, and there was tensions then, and there were tensions in the United States, but Martin Luther King was one of the bravest men that I've ever read about. It's, it's one thing to face your enemy with weapons like we had, but Martin Luther King and his followers faced hatred and everything empty-handed. They just had love, and that that's, shows more courage than anything. So. The Reverend Martin Luther King was a man of faith and a man of action, and what we're trying to do to do today is is act on that behalf and remember what his message was. We are celebrating the 50th anniversary of uh, the day that Martin Luther King was taken from us violently. This is, um, I was 16 years old on that day and I remember it like it was yesterday. To know today with all, from all these children being here that, that his message um, lives on in a, new, in a generation that never knew his living presence is very heartening. And I'm, I'm just so happy for it. Thank you. My school, not Discovery Charter School. And <laughs> um, what I realized today was that um, they re never really did make MLK's dream a reality. So that's what I think I would want to try to accomplish through this. Our school definitely teaches um, social justice and equality for all. And being a teacher at Mount Discovery Charter School is a privilege because we do take our message out and we do a lot of ex expeditions. And um, this rally today, we made sure to let the kids know it wasn't a protest, that it is a rally, that we are supporting the dreams and the person, Martin Luther King Jr., and that we are here to show our support for peace and loving our neighbor and um, all people being treated equal and his message in general. Thank you.